when George and Kathy Lutz said to Jay Anson in those tapes that the door exploded before their very eyes, Jay Anson didn't explain how it happened. It's a telepathic illusion. There was no physical door exploded. In other words, you and I could be in a room together. You see a ghost. I don't see it. That's because the ghost has projected its image to you, not me. That's what George and Kathy would see many times, and that's how ghosts are seen, telepathically. But do the factual errors and dramatic embellishments found in Jay Anson's book prove that the Lutzes conspired to create a hoax? When you change a Chevy Vega to a tan Ford because it doesn't fit your profile of what happened to the priest, that's, that's an out-and-out -out deception. I don't think anything can be 100% accurate, but when you read something as nonfiction, I think the public has a right to demand that the large majority of what's in there is the truth. Attorney William Weber contends that the Lutzes had always planned to cash in on the DeFeo murder tragedy, starting from the time they decided to buy the house. The Lutzes' game plan was to make a commercial venture of their living in the DeFeo residence. There's no question in my mind that that was their, their aim and their goal. Why would Weber accuse us of concocting a hoax with him and then make us swear in a uh, contract that he wanted us to sign that we would absolutely tell the truth and agree to take polygraph tests. William Weber at no time intimated that the amateur case was a hoax. He was not committed to parapsychology, but he told me more than once that he was fully convinced that the possession theory was the most likely. If he has said that he thought it was a fraud, well, he has his reasons for it. I don't know what they are, but it's not true. Let's pursue the theory that, in fact, the Lutzes had this grand master scheme, that they were going to come in, create a haunted house story. First of all, they left their whole investment, their life savings, was wrapped up in this house. There have been lots of haunted house stories throughout the ages, but you don't know which ones are going to take off and capture the public's imagination. The odds would be against them making a lot of money off of a haunted house. The thing is this, that if you're going to create a hoax, you're going to make sure that you get your share of, of the money. Now remember that George and Kathy made some money, but they didn't make the money that the producers and Jay Anson made. They became wealthy. George and Kathy never did. But how much did the Lutzes profit from the Amityville horror? I think we probably made a little over a quarter million dollars from the original book. Somewhere around $160,000 from the movie, total, to date. More than one third of that went to lawyers easily, or not so easily, defending lawsuits.